Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelocks and welcome to Small Radio's Big Televisions. I don't know what to say about this game. I know very little about it. I know it, there's like a puzzle element to it and kind of a point and click adventure style or narrative game element to it, as I like to call it. And uh, I was provided this game uh, by the developer and publisher, Fireface Corporation and Adult Swim Games. I have to admit, I'm really digging Adult Swim Games as a publisher. They've been producing a lot of really cool stuff, uh, or publishing a lot of really cool stuff, like Headlander, which I played uh, fairly recently. So uh, this game, uh, thank you to them very much for providing me with a copy of this game. And um, the way I'm going to do this game is, I don't think it's very long couple hours maybe. I'm going to do a Netflix style full release of the playthrough in one day so you guys should have all the videos uh, released when this video comes out so you can watch the whole playthrough. And you guys will have to let me know what you think about this. It's going to be an interesting adventure. You guys know I love to explore new worlds and new ways of presenting narrative so this should be a good example of one of those games. So let's dive right in. I'm already digging the, like, retro music vibe that's going on here. And we're taking this, like, weird... It's like a factory. On, like, a... Almost like a... Offshore drilling platform. And there's doors to click on. So it looks like... I can move, I can move the view like up and down. So let's click on this door. We're taken into this stranger. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this game. It's just so, it's so odd. I, like do I, like clicking on stuff doesn't seem to do anything. Except aside from the door. So we're just like exploring this factory, I guess. Even though this has like a caution sign on it. So I see two doors. One of them looks more dangerous than the other. Should we go? Let's go into the, uh, the dangerous, the dangerous door. I'm trying to like click on stuff just to see if, uh, anything else is interactable, but Got a filing cabinet and a tape. So this is our first, our first tape. And as I understand it, these tapes take us to other worlds. So this says forest on it. Let's try it out. Here we are in the forest. Uh, I so I dig this music. This is like this is like my style of music. And all we have are these like little I don't know what to call them gems to click on. Can't walk or anything. Okay. takes us back out and I guess we add that tape to our collection and we can go back go back to a tape we've collected before I guess okay let's go through the next door and I guess I can go yeah I can go back okay so forest I can use these oh I see so these crystals power other entrances. Let's try going through here. Takes us back out and we're on a different side. Uh, okay, I think we started. Can't seem to um, 
rotate to the other side. Maybe we haven't unlocked it yet. This is where we started, right? Let me just make sure. Yes. So we can go back in there, or we can go into this new door. Oh, and there's a door over here, it looks like. Let's, let's head let's head through here. View map, okay. Oh, and it shows us, I guess, the path that we've taken. And this is the current room we're in. Cool, so I guess the idea is to unlock this whole level. Actually, I don't even know what the idea of this game is. It's just to explore this space, I think. It's all these, uh, they seem to be pretty simple puzzles, but maybe there's a more complex dynamic going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of yet. And maybe I'll never find out. That's the one thing I love about these games. Oh, another tape. You're not, you're not really sure, since there's no real instructions, not really sure if there's um, some stuff hidden that we're not aware of. So what is this? There's like these paintings or drawings on the walls. Weird. Okay, let's check out this tape. It says road, I think. Okay, we're on the road. Oh, I wonder what happens if we had missed that. I guess we can go back. So we got the road and we've got the forest. So I'm just curious. Let's go. I can hit spacebar to go back, right? Let's go back to the road and let it play a bit. See if there's anything else there. What's that say? Can't even see what that says. Space probably. Probably to leave, right? Yeah, since we can't find another uh, power source, we can just chill in this world for a bit and then leave if we want to. Okay. Or is it space? Oh, it's space bar. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, cool. It's like. It's like combination of art and machinery. I see that this has like a yellow. The grate's been painted. It looks like a yellow smoke's coming out from that. So who painted these walls? You'll you'll notice that I tend to I I don't know if I overanalyze things, but I definitely put try to put some thought into what's going on in the world with these games. Maybe maybe sometimes I overanalyze. Better to overanalyze than underanalyze, though, I think. Okay, so now we're on a third side. Can we look at the map from here? Can I go back to the original one? Ah, there we are. But I can't go to the fourth side. Okay, we came through there. That would make sense. Huh. What? Okay, now now I'm not sure what this dotted line is. Because it appears as though... I don't think it's tracking our path, right? Because we, we navigated these rooms. Okay. Oh, I can click on the grate. Oh, cool. What is that? Watch. Does it say watch your back? We're getting threatened now by the person who's uh, doing all this painting. Optics. Oh, cool. 
It's like a magnifier or something. So I guess we're, the puzzles are getting a little bit more complex. So we must have to use this on something to get like a clearer view, maybe? I like how all the doors are like, caution. <laughs> So I don't need to turn the lights on to go through this door, but zero one zero. That's uh, it's like binary, right? Right. So that's off on off. What did that allow us to do? Just turn the lights on. Oh, and I can't use the switches anymore. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting though, like, it, it turned the light on, but that doesn't allow us to do anything else. Except maybe, did it give us access to this door? I couldn't really tell. Probably. Let's go through that one then. Because I think it was dark before. Another tape. It's like a fist holding a tape. The powers is in the tape. What's that? Coast. Cool. I guess we're looking, we're looking for something to grab, but I don't see anything. First time we've gone to a world, there doesn't appear to be anything. Oh, what? I can mess with the trees. It's like I might be able to pull one out or something. Up here too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> huh, I wonder. Is there anything else we can uh, play around with? I wonder if one of them will like shake out a power source or something. see anything. Some hidden trees back here. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I don't... I must be missing something here. Let's go back. Now, I wonder... Can we combine? There's still this magnifying glass. Hmm, not sure. I wonder if there's some way to combine the worlds together or something like that. Better future. Maybe factories fitting together. It's this, uh, I feel like we might be able to go down here. Well, I see no other option right now. Let's see, we're missing this power source. Hmm. Oh, wait. Can't use it on that. Okay, let's carry on. It's, that must be referring to that. Oh, shh. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we, like... I thought we ground up the, uh... The tapes. Oh. 
weird. Okay. It's like we're using it to power the uh, the lights or something. I wonder if that changed the worlds at all. Let's take a look. Let's go back to go back to the coast. See what effect. Maybe that had an effect on the the worlds. Yeah, it did totally. Oh, that's cool. I'm digging that. Let's grab that. Oh, we'll have to check the other ones too. Due to the forest, same kind of thing. Like pull, sort of pull everything, starting to pull everything up out of the earth. Oh, nice. see any additional like power power nodes for lack of a better word man that's creepy had a really negative impact on this world I can't click on the trees in this one. Thought maybe I could interact with this white hole. It's like it's sucking us, sucking us into it. I don't know if I want to spend much time in that world. Uh, can we use? No, I still don't know what that's for. So we put together kind of like that one painting. It's like we've kind of put together another factory with this one. What is this? Oh, weird. Okay, well this seems like a good time to wrap up the first episode, guys, and uh, like I said, I'm going to release all the videos at once, so you'll be able to watch the whole thing. Um, so I'll see you on the next video. This is Luckless Leblox, signing off for now, and I love you all.